Hey everybody, Stacy here. Welcome back to my channel. There's a couple important things you need to know if you have a goat or if you run across a goat. And one of those important things is how do you pet a goat? That's right, today I'm going to show you how to pet a goat. But first, let's go over some goat anatomy. One of the first things you'll notice when you approach a goat is that they've got these pointy stabbers. Goats also have face fluff. On the back side, you've got the flippy wiggler. Underneath, they've got ground tappers and leg knobs. The tum tum, smoocher. Goats also have wiggly listeners and tiny blinkers. This is their sniffer or their snoot. Inside the goat's mouth, they have leaf razors or also known as hay shredders. There's a few questions I get asked a lot. One of them is, are the male goats the one with the horns? Well, males and females both get horns, and males and females both grow beard. It just depends on their breed and their genetics. Now, just because a goat has some awesome horns doesn't mean that they're handles to hang on to. Goats actually don't like you tugging on their horns or messing with their head a whole lot. Okay, the first technique I'm gonna show you guys for petting a goat is the side scratches. So you can scratch them right here on their side on their shoulder, all the way down to their haunches. <laughs> you can use your left hand, or you can do it right-handed. Both hands. This is what I call the scratching post technique. And it's also how I end up with poison ivy real bad every summer. This is what I call the catcher's mitt. You open your hand like a catcher in baseball, and her head is like the ball, and it'll go right in. Peace out. Good girl. Good girl. She's actually pushed down my hand pretty hard. This is the tail tickle. Could you go? Look at that little flippy wiggler. Now some goats come from the manufacturer with a built-in pause button. This pause button can be found usually by the shoulders or by the tail, depending on your make and model. Pause. What happens when you scratch this pause button, the goat will automatically pause from whatever they're doing and enjoy the scratches. Unpause. <laughs> this technique I call the chin up cheek rub because when you start rubbing his cheeks, his chin goes up, just like that. Good boy. I'll call this one the car wash or the swisher. This next technique I'm gonna show you, only wanna do it if your males are fixed. It's the beard stroke. Oh yeah. Give cases. Oh, good boy. What did you do? I was just petting Chico and I found a wound on his chest. So I'm gonna take a look at it and spray it. I use this stuff called Betterson, it's awesome. This is a good reminder that if you have animals to do an inspection, for lack of better terms, on them frequently. You know, check for um, things like lice or mites or hot spots, dry skin. Um, check the famancha, which is their eye color. Um, you know, just in general, keep an eye on your animals, make sure they're all healthy and there's not anything out of the ordinary. As far as Chico goes, well, let me tell you this first. Goats um, will get calloused knees when they kneel 
and it'll also callus on their chest. Um, it looks like that callus on Chico's chest right here where they often lay um, might have gotten dry and cracked open. So what I did is sprayed some of that veteracin on it and I'll probably do that for the next couple days and just check on make sure it's not um, infected or anything. You guys might remember from my barn video that I installed some brush heads around the goat's pens for them to rub on and scratch on. If you haven't seen that video, go back and check it out. We're going to give Happy some tummy tickles. You can even try two techniques at the same time. Oh, I like that. Another thing you can try is different types of brushes. This is the table rub. Sometimes I'll let you play the belly drum. Buster likes ear rubs. Buttercup likes ear rubs too. Sometimes they bite on my clothes to try to get my attention so I can pet them. Whoa, what do you want? Sometimes I'll get one of my goats like Rocky or Rusty to plant their head into my chest and I'll rub on their cheek and their neck. Oh, he's making popcorn. Yeah. Now goats can't reach behind their horns, so they really like it when you rub behind their horns, not necessarily on their horns. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and had some fun. Please come back next week and check for a new video and like, share, subscribe.